Hey, um, Mr. Ray Lunsford, Mr. Shar on the lease. Too bad we didn't meet before you started attacking me, knowing the fuck I was. But anyway, that's all right. Pass judgment on somebody. I ride bicycles, dress like I do, stay where I do, do the things I do, just to provoke and see what kind of discrimination is out there. See, I'm an advocate. I go after people to discriminate. I walk into a restaurant, somebody wants to sit there and tell me, oh, there's no ordering. You know what? I just bought a banana, another banana, and a water. You know what? I'm out of here, mind my own business. I'm not hustling money. I'm smoking my cigarette because I enjoy smoking cigarettes once in a while. Instead of crime. You know, but don't. But anyway, rule number one in the law business don't call somebody stupid. Especially on a cease and desist letter. Now, that's. Cease and cease means, like, slow it down, try to calm the waters, you know, smooth shit out a little bit to get a chance to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Call somebody stupid and bizarre on a fucking cease and desist letter. I was on investigation before I got down here. Everything I've done has a rhyme and a reason. I gave everybody a chance. And I even said, hey, why don't you move that fucking fence and them trees off the... Off that property, that HOA shit with Scott Ward and all that, tell them to move that shit and save, you know, just for a few thousand and, and save a lot. And I even mentioned it could go into fucking millions, bro, and lose your company, everything, your license, your reputation, you piece of shit. Y'all should have considered that. I, I would give you fair warning. Shh. I was trying to tell you in your ear so you wouldn't fuck it up. You're fucking retarded. Nobody should hire you fucking ass anyway, anywhere. The only thing you should do in a law firm is sweep the motherfucking floor because everybody deserves a job, no matter how bad they fucked up in life. Thank you.